Hi, this is Mike Scramsta of Spear Education, and in this video I want to introduce the PrimeScan 2. Now that it's been released, I just kind of want to go through a couple of the brief features that make this uh, scanner very, very special. So if we look at the PrimeScan 2 here, you can see that it comes on this nice little um, uh, platform so you can kind of store it in your operatories. And obviously, as you can see, it is completely wireless, okay? Now, there's other wireless scanners on the market, so that in itself doesn't make this particularly special. But what makes PrimeScan 2 really special, it's the first cloud-native scanner on the market today. So what does that mean, cloud-native scanner? So I will show you in a second, but what it basically means is you don't really need a laptop. You don't have to worry about what laptop should I buy, does it need some certain configurations or speeds. This can scan into directly into Google Chrome. So any computer you have in your operatory, an iPad, whatever it may be, this can scan directly to it. So, you know, there, I'll show many other videos, but it really opens up the opportunity for you just to kind of move room to room, have DS Core right up on those computers and scan directly to it. So it opens up the versatility of using a scan in your office, whether, whether it's you, whether it's an assistant member or a staff member, and really opens up the door to truly being able to scan all of our patients. Okay, so like I said in this video, I just want to kind of go through exactly how this may work. So let me start by just scanning a model just to show you how this works within DS Core. So if I go into DS Core, you'll just see I have a patient up, the, up here. We're going to go through this patient, how we did these live scans later. Um, but on this patient, let's just go ahead and scan a model, okay? So the first thing that we're going to do is obviously PrimeScan 2 is going to be activated within DS Core as a device. Once it's activated as a device in your DS Core, now you'll notice that I have a Start PrimeScan 2 button right up here on the upper right-hand side. So let's go ahead and click PrimeScan 2. Now what it's going to ask you is do you want to take a status scan or do you want to take a treatment scan? Uh, so what is the difference between these two? So a status scan is going to be scanning a patient in that particular moment in their timeline, right? So if I'm scanning a new patient or a recall patient or just a patient um, for treatment planning and I want to show them how their teeth are right now, then I would choose a treat or a status scan. Now a treatment scan is obviously a treatment scan, meaning if I'm doing a crown, a veneer, uh, a denture or anything that's going to require treatment, then we're going to select treatment scan. Now there's one little twist to this, and I'll show you that in a little bit, and that's using our status scan to fill in the treatment plan. It's a really cool application that um, is brand new with PrimeScan 2 that I think you're going to love. But for this particular example, let's just do a very quick quadrant scan on a model. So I'm going to go ahead and select status scan. And when I do that, the scanning window is going to automatically open. Okay, so now I'm ready to scan directly into the cloud. And like I said, this can be on any computer in your operatory. It doesn't matter. It goes directly into Google Chrome. So it's asking me to scan the lower arch. So as soon as I pick up the scanner, it's going to activate. So we'll go ahead and scan the, the lower quadrant here. And you'll notice as soon as I start scanning, this is not only scanning pretty smooth, it's uploading directly to the cloud. And just a little point about the new scanner here is that this tip is much smaller than the Prime Scan 1. So meaning I'm able to fit this in much tighter areas. I know that's been one of the complaints with the original Prime Scan awesome scanner, just gets a little bit big into kind of tight spaces there. So uh, with this, uh, with a smaller tip, it's, it's much easier, it's lighter, and my staff has really enjoyed being able to scan a little bit easier. Now, how do you switch catalogs? So you'll notice there's a little white dot here, and all we're going to do is double click. And as soon as I do that, it switch catalogs. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and bring up the upper arch, and we'll go ahead and scan that quadrant. And again, uploading directly to the cloud as we scan.
okay and now we'll go ahead and double click this and that's going to change to my buckle bite and we'll go ahead and scan the buckle bite and obviously the prime scan 2 is going to behave just like the prime scan 1 is we have the ability to go ahead and take double buckle bites if we would like now once you're complete we'll go ahead and click finish so you see the finish button there on the upper right hand side we'll go ahead and click the finish button okay do you want to finish and save yes we do now as soon as you hit save you'll notice now the model is being processed and uploaded directly into ds core now i'm not in my office with a super fast upload speed i know there's going to be questions on connection I'm sitting in my home office making this video. I just brought the Prime Scan 2 home, and you you can see that this uploaded extremely fast. You know, most of us with home internet, um, if we have cable internet, which I have at my house, very fast download speeds, moderate upload speeds of 40 or 50. That's all I have here, and it worked seamlessly. And many of you have speeds that are much faster than that, so it's even going to work better. So don't be concerned about con connection speeds. It, it works fantastic. So I have it uploaded here. You can kind of see uh, that we have uh, a nice view of this. And, um, you know, it's a, it's a resolution that's for the web. If we want to get the highest resolution, we can bring it into any software that we want. Now, if I go back into DS Core, if I just back up here, you're going to see that scan right here. Now, let's say that's a treatment scan and I wanted to open it up in CEREC or InLab or even ExoCAD. All I have to do is select open so i can open it up in CEREC, i can open it up in exocad i can download it as dxd ply stl or exocad so lots of different options but the main thing that i wanted to show you is the beauty of scanning directly to cloud the cloud-based scanner scan anywhere where you want to go okay so let me really quickly show you what it would look like if i was going to scan a live patient and utilizing the status scan as kind of a way to make my treatment scan a little bit quicker. So we're actually gonna scan this patient. This is actually the tooth that we're going to be treating. It's tooth number 15. You can see big composite restoration, broken lingual cusp, a couple cracks. We're going to do a full coverage restoration on this particular tooth. So what I started with on this case is we actually are going to start with a status scan. Okay, so let me bring this up to show you what we did. Okay, so the very first thing that we're going to do is we're going to start the Prime Scan 2. It's going to ask us, what would you like to do? Do you want to do a status scan or, or, or a treatment scan? We're actually going to choose status scan. Okay, so now you're seeing me go ahead and scan the lower arch on this patient. You know, there's no need to do a full arch scan on just a simple crown like this. This is going to be a treatment that we're going to do in office with our CEREC machine. Okay, so we go ahead and scan the lower arch, and then once we're done doing that, we'll go ahead and double click that little dot, we'll switch to the upper arch, and we're going to scan the pre-op of this particular tooth. So this is the broken tooth number 15 that I talked about a little bit. Now I'm doing this while the patient is actually numbing up. Okay, so it gives me time to go ahead and scan this like you normally would do. But in Prime Scan 1, you'd have to use the cut tool. Now we're not going to have to use the cut tool anymore because Dense by Strona thought of something a little bit special here that makes this even easier to do. So once we're done with the pre-op scan, and this could also serve as your biocopy, notice there's not a biocopy scan anymore. It's going to be the status scan that's used as your, excuse me, as your biocopy. So now we scan the buckle bite. We'll go ahead and finish the scan. And now that's going to be uploaded directly into DS Core and we have our status or our pre-op situation. Okay, so now we went ahead, let's say we prepped this tooth, okay? So we're just kind of looking at what this looks like in the viewer. You can kind of see that we have the broken down tooth if we wanted to show the patient what we're doing, uh, but mainly it's just for getting the initial scan. So now we're gonna choose treatment scan. Now, what do we wanna do for treatment? Well, we're gonna do a crown on tooth number 15. So it's like 15, we'll select crown, do you want a new scan or use your status scan? Well, let's use our status scan, okay? So now we don't have to use the cut tool. We don't have to do anything. 
we just bring it up and watch how the prep fills directly in to our status scan. So it not only is easier and more efficient, it's just it's, the whole entire process is gonna be a little bit easier. Using that status scan, you just have to fill in a little prep, no cut tool, nothing. Okay, now we go ahead and process this scan and what you're gonna see is actually something really super cool, okay? Okay, so the scan processed within seconds, you'll see it right here and you'll notice it automatically draws the margin within DS Core. Okay, so on the right hand side, you see the model information, model axis, margin. You now both can alter or confirm this directly into DS Core. If you're sending it to a lab, automated margin directly in DS Core. Okay, so if we look at the display, we'll go ahead and turn off the lower jaw and we can kind of see what we have here. And not only that, you're able to alter the margin if you would like directly into DS Core. Now, once you have this scan, you can either use it to send an order or send it to your lab. You can go to all actions and you can go ahead and open it in CEREC or in lab if you would like to go ahead and uh, design this directly in your office via the hybrid workflow. So there's lots of options here available to you. Uh, the whole entire point is how the Prime Scan 2 just makes everything a little bit easier. So I hope you guys really enjoyed this introduction on exactly how the Prime Scan 2 works. I hope it gets your brain kind of churning on the, the opportunities and the possibilities of this camera in your office. Um, it's really the only scanner I use these days. It's just so much more portable. And like I said, there's other wireless scanners on the market today but you need to have laptops and use Splashtop to communicate to room to room in some of them. And this I can just pick up, grab, move to another room, open up DS Core on whatever computer that might be, and go ahead and scan my patients. Not only that, it uploads directly into DS Core, so all my images are stored in a place where I can open them up anywhere, and then I can use the hybrid workflow if I'm doing a simple treatment in my, option, in my office, meaning milling restorations, I can send it to CAM if I'm going to be printing something within my office or if I'm doing sure smile or sending somebody something to the lab, I can do that all within one central location. So I'm super excited for you guys to try Prime Scan 2. I think you're going to be very excited. It's just a home run uh, innovation from Dent Supply Serona and um, I'm very excited that you guys get to get your hands on this very, very soon. Thank you.